हेलो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज नेटवर्क आईडी एंड ब्रॉडकास्ट आईडी गाइस नेटवर्क आईडी इज द फर्स्ट आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ नेटवर्क वेयर एज ब्रॉडकास्ट आईडी इज लास्ट आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ नेटवर्क नेटवर्क आईडी विल टेल अस फ्रॉम वेयर द नेटवर्क विल स्टार्ट एंड ब्रॉडकास्ट आईडी विल टेल अस फ्रॉम वेयर द नेटवर्क विल एंड गाइस लुक हियर नाउ यू आर बीइंग कंफ्यूज्ड लाइक दिस गाय इन द पिक्चर यू कैन सी हियर he also don't know how to calculate network id or broadcast id but after watching this video i'm sure you will be confident the magic which help you in calculating network id and broadcast id is this and gate what do we have to do we have to apply and gate between ip address and subnet mask to calculate network id and we have to do something like that to calculate broadcast id we will see it in the upcoming video uh, let's say uh, let uh, let me not take a complex example let me start with a basic one let's say i have a ip 192 168 and uh, as it is class c subnet mask will be 255255550 this is subnet mask and this is ip address so again i am telling we will be calculating network id it means this particular network will start from which ip and we will also calculate broadcast id that this particular network will end at which ip so we will be able to calculate how many users will exist in this particular network so let's start from network id my ip was 192168 uh, let me take a new one 1.5 the same one just convert it in binary so uh, 192 will be we need 128 yes uh, we need 64 yes all other bits will be see so this is binary for 192 now i have 168 i need 128 yes i need 64 no i need 32 yes 16 no i need 8 yes so this is binary for 168 now i have one one is easy to write all of you know in last i have five so that was for five now what is the subnet mask subnet mask was 255 255 2550 as it is class c so first three octets will be one One, 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 and last eight bits will be zero. This is the subnet mask. Now just apply and gate. The same gate and gate. So let me write the output. One 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 output will be one. One one output will be one. Zero one zero zero one zero. Just see the table and write the output. One 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 zero one zero one zero one zero zero zero. We are very near to network ID, guys. Zero 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 one. and all bits are zero here so value in the last octet will be 0000 0000, 0000. apply and gate you will get zeros convert back to decimal value will be 192.168.1.0 so this is network id this is network id it means this network will start from 
नेटवर्क विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 192, 168, फर्स्ट आईपी सेकेंड आईपी विल बी वन नेक्स्ट विल बी टू थ्री फोर फाइव स्टिल वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द लास्ट आईपी वेयर दिस नेटवर्क विल एंड एंड यू नो द मैजिक द मैजिक इज थ्रू आउट द नेटवर्क थ्रू आउट द नेटवर्क ओनली होस्ट बिट्स विल चेंज नेटवर्क बिट्स विल रिमेन सेम फॉर ऑल द आईपीज वट विल चेंज होस्ट बिट्स इट मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक टू आई पी बिलोंग टू सेम नेटवर्क और डिफरेंट नेटवर्क वट वी हैव टू चेक We just have to check the network bits. If they are same, it means they belong to same network. So now let's just concentrate on broadcast ID. Now again, I am here. One ninety two, one sixty eight, one dot five. Again, write down the subnet mask. Sorry. Convert them in binary. One one. One sixty eight. One. Five. This is the IP address in binary. Now subnet mask. One 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 one. Now, when you are calculating broadcast ID, just keep your network part as it is. As it is means. This is your network part. Just apply AND gate. So value will be one ninety two, one sixty eight dot one. Now, when you are calculating broadcast ID, again I am saying when you are calculating broadcast ID, forget what host bits you have. I forget it. I have some host bits now. step number 2 just mark all your host bits to 1 so how many host bits i have 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so convert this number into decimal value will be 2 5 this will be broadcast id for this particular ip let me give a meaning to it it means my network will start from 192 168 this is network id second ip will be dot 1 dot 2 dot 3 if you want i can write it like this also but i told you earlier also all network bits will remain same throughout dot 4 dot 5 and it will end at dot 255 so in total how many host will be there 256 network will start from 1.0 one 192 168 1.0 one and it will end at 192 168 One dot two five five. So guys, if you remember, what was the use of host bits? Host bits will define how many hosts will be there in the network. How many hosts will be host bits were there? There were eight host bits, and how many hosts are there in the network? Two fifty six. That is two to the power eight. so i think this thing is making some sense now i have a example also to demonstrate look here i have a ip 192.168.1.40 it 
slash values 26 uh, some somewhat I, I just choose a random IP and a random uh, subnet mask so this slash 26 it is called prefix length Prefix length is just another way of representing subject mask. Prefix, prefix length will directly define how many network bits will be there. But whenever we have to write subnet mask, we have to write it in this format. 255, 255, 255. So it is somehow hard to write. So people prefer to write the slash value. 26 means 26 are network bits. So, if I have to write slash 26 as subnet mask, let me tell you how you will write. So, my IP is 192, 168, 1.40 slash 26. So, I have to write it as subnet mask. It means 26 are network bits. Rest of the 6 bits are host bits. If, if you remember, in total there are 32 bits. So, how I will write subnet mask? 1, 1, 1, 1. First octet, 8 bits. Second octet, 8 bits. Third octet, 8 bits. Last octet, 2 bits. Rest 6 will be host. So, subnet mask will be 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 192. This will be the subnet mask. So I can write subnet mask like this also and like this also. One and the same thing. Just say this is just another way of writing it. Now concentrate here. I have an IP and I have chosen a random subnet mask. This is binary for my IP. And this is my subnet mask, you can check here, I am just applying AND gate and I am calculating network ID by the same manner, it is this. Now I will tell you how to calculate broadcast ID. When we are calculating broadcast ID, what I told you, step number one, just skip your host bits. How many host bits I was having? Six. So I skip those host bits. I just turn all host bits to 1. I just turn all host bits to 1. And I kept 26 network bits same. So I got this value. So these are 6 host, host bits. Let me tell you. So if I write the 4th octet, it will be 0, 0 and last 6 bits, which all are 1. Fine. Convert it to decimal. Value will be 63. If you will give it a total. So this is the broadcast ID. It means this network will start at 1.0 and it will end at 1.63. How many total hosts are there? 64 guys. Now I am just cross checking it. If you remember how many network bits were there? 26. How many host bits are there? 6. It means total number of hosts in the network will be 2 to the power 6. And 2 to the power 6 is always 64. We can verify it. So guys, in this video we have discussed how to calculate network ID and broadcast ID. Thank you.